Kate Moss defends ex Johnny Depp in Amber Heard trial. In the ongoing defamation trial between Johnny Depp and his ex wife Amber Heard, Kate Moss will be cross examined. According to a source close to Depp, his legal term will call Kate Moss, who dated Johnny Depp in the 1990s, as a rebuttal witness. According to the source, Moss and Depp are still close. Depp has filed a $50 million lawsuit against Hurt, claiming that an op-ed she wrote for the Washington Post in 2018 defamed him by falsely portraying him as an abuser. Hurt has countershoot Depp for $100 million, alleging that his counsel made defamatory statement about her abuse allegations being a hoax. Hurt claimed on the stand that when she and her sister were in an alleged confrontation with Depp, she immediately thought about Moss rumors. In a 1998 Rolling Stone interview, Depp said to author Hunter S. Thompson, I was with Kate and I think he went straight for the romance jugular. Shiz, like whether I beat her enough. Yeah, she gets a severe beating, I probably told him. Depp's team has not responded to the 1998 Rolling Stone remark. During Monday's trial procedures, however, Hurt's team presented numerous expert witnesses, including two physicians. Dr. Richard Moore, an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in hand procedures, testified as an expert witness that the damage Depp sustained to his finger after an event in Australia did not correspond to his claim that Hurt slammed his hand with a glass vodka bottle. Dr. David Spiegel, an expert on intimate partner violence and a psychiatrist, testified that Depp exhibited characteristics consistent with both a substance use disorder and a perpetrator of intimate partner abuse. Moore and Spiegel never questioned or spoke with Depp. Both looked at medical records and testimony from the case. Catherine Arnold, an entertainment industry expert, also testified about her research into Depp's and Hertz careers. In court, Arnold stated that she believes Hertz op-ed had very little impact on Depp's career. Hardly anyone ever knew the op-ed existed before he filed suit, Arnold added. If anyone I know, but definitely not Disney. Arnold believes Hurt will lose up to $50 million in potential profits over the next five years as a result of Depp's attorney's statements dismissing Hurt's allegations. After Judge Penny Ascarate dismissed the jurors for the holiday weekend, no verdict was returned in the Johnny Depp Amber Hurt defamation trial on Friday. The jury, which received the case Friday afternoon, will return to the courtroom on Tuesday and must begin deliberations by 9 a.m. A small group of Hertz fans sat on a bench together as the swarm of Depp supporters exited the Fairfax courthouse. They have felt vastly outnumbered throughout the trial, but Christina Taft of Los Angeles said they tried to show as much support for Hurt as they could by gathering in the back of the courthouse where the actors arrive. We're trying to give her support and cheer for her so she can feel safe. Taft said, adding that one supporter was able to slip a small gift through Hurt's car window. Johnny Depp's lawyers are also fans of the actor. Even after the jury was dismissed around 5.15 p.m., a large crowd gathered in front of the courthouse to cheer on several of Depp's attorneys, particularly Ben Chu. As he thanked them and made his way through the crowd, they yelled, Thank you, Ben, and have a good weekend, Ben. Judge Penny Ascarte dismissed the jury in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial for the three-day holiday weekend after about two hours of deliberation. Jurors are expected to resume deliberations at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. During the holiday break, Ascarate instructed the jurors not to read or research anything about the case, nor to share any details with friends, family, co-workers, acquaintances, and strangers. She concluded by wishing the jurors a peaceful weekend. Amber Heard stopped in her final moments on the stand this week, saying she has received numerous death threats and harassment since the trial began. She also alluded to the many Johnny Depp fans who gathered outside the courtroom every day. Hundreds of onlookers on the sidewalk yelled, booed, and jeered as Hurt left the courthouse on Friday. While the jury deliberated, Depp supporters sent out tens of thousands of tweets in his support. Within an hour of the conclusions of the closing statements, the hashtags Amber Hurt is a liar and hashtag Johnny Depp is innocent trended on the social media website with over 50,000 tweets under each hashtag. Throughout the trial, there has been consistent support for Depp, sometimes bordering on hysteria. Many of the supporters have been hostile toward Hurt, who appears to have fewer supporters online earlier this month. The Post reported that while hashtag Justice for Johnny Depp received nearly 7 billion views on TikTok, the comparable hashtag Justice for Amber Heard received about 25 million. The situations, according to Seth Lewis, director of the journalism program at the University of Oregon, amounted to the apotheosis of participatory culture of fans taking an active role in fandom over public figures who end up feeling more like avatars than real people. That's all we've got for now. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. 
please show us some love by liking and sharing the video with your friends and family. To receive updates on our new videos, turn on the notification button. We would also like to know your views on the video, so kindly use the comment section below. That was all we had time for today. For the time being, I'll bid you farewell and hope to see you in the next video.